Hey guys, Jordan here and welcome to a brand new series that I'm starting on my YouTube channel called The Food Dude. Pretty much what it's going to be about is I'm going to go to a bunch of different places here in Japan to go eat and then I'm going to showcase the food for you guys, the environment, the menu, um, how the food is, etc. So this is kind of like a guide for anyone that's going to pl that plans on coming to Japan either to travel or to live abroad and just kind of show you around what kind of food places there are. Um, Japan is full of like small business restaurants so and they're all really good so if you just walk into any restaurant it's most likely going to be good uh, but this is just to give you some kind of idea what kind of places there are here. The first place we're going to go to is a place called Nakidu. It's a Michelin star ramen restaurant by the Otsuka station if you take the Yamanote line, the JR line. So it's really close by to where I live. I live by a uh, ramen, uh, popular ramen area and I am I do love my ramen, so I'm really looking forward to trying out some Michelin star ramen. I haven't had a Michelin star food at all yet in my life, so yeah, super looking forward for this. So we're at the place, um, it's not open yet, we still have another 10 minutes before it's open, but the line's not too long, so we should be able to get in pretty quickly. English menu in Jap and Japanese, if you want the prices. The prices are pretty good. Just like a regular ramen restaurant price. Yeah. Alright, so I got the tan tan, which is the special, and I added an egg and a chashu because it doesn't come with any toppings aside from the green onions, otherwise. And then I also got extra noodles for later. So yeah, it was really good. It met, it met to my expectations of what I expected. At the end of the day, it is ramen after all. So like, I would say the difference between like your average ramen shop here in Japan and the Michelin star ramen uh, is like only a little bit. Like you could tell the difference in with like the noodles, the soup, but like it's very, very subtle. So overall, I would recommend going to this place just because the, the wait to get in to the restaurant, like when we got out, there wasn't much of a line. I would say in total you might have to wait like half an hour if you go when uh, the restaurant's just opening. They had English menus and you just order, you just get a ticket from a ticket machine and give it to the staff. So um, if you have no understanding of Japanese, no problem with that. Service was just standard Japanese service. It wasn't like any like extra service or anything. You just get your ticket, give them give it to them and then they bring you your noodles, you help yourself to your own water. Price wise, just average ramen store pricing. Um, you, you do When you order your noodles, you'll just get the basic set of noodles and then you have to add the toppings on which it is extra, but your total price is about um, either the same or maybe a little bit more than the average price of ramen here in Japan, here in Tokyo. Flavor wise, I thought the flavor was really good. Um, I did have the tan tan and tan tan is not really a common flavor in ramen restaurants. So if if I was ever feeling like I wanted to get Tan Tan Ramen again, then I could definitely go back to that place. Also, if you guys could go check out and follow my Instagram page, the Jord at the Jord Dude, I do consistently post on my Instagram story and I post on just on my profile, um, mainly about stuff here in Japan and then also like YouTube stuff as well. So if you guys could go check out my Instagram, that'd be really great. I appreciate that as well as my Twitter. At C O L underscore the Jordi. Also, comment down below if you love ramen and what kind of ramen do you like the most. Personally, my favorite ramen is miso tonkatsu ramen, but there are so many different types of ramen you could have. So I'm really interested in what you guys, what your guys' preference is. So yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much again for watching. Make sure you like the video so I know you guys enjoy the content and I can keep making more of these. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.